Welcome to an old book of commentary. In this video, we'll be talking about NVIDIA and Intel news. NVIDIA. What's the news? In NVIDIA has finally launched a beta software, NVIDIA software suite, that yeah, you will combine, eventually, all the GeForce experience features and the NVIDIA control panel um, features all into one NVIDIA software, which their competitor, AMD, has always had that one software solution for all the for all the graphics card feature which are in the AMD Adrenaline software suite. And also, NVIDIA, this new beta whatever software suite, is likely there to address the people who refuse to install GeForce Experience as a lot of people see it as bloatware or forcing users to log in with it and get tracked with the usage of devices. Certain people do not like this outright blatant freaking disregard for, for uh, you know, privacy as some people just like, I don't want you to know what the heck I am doing with the freaking product that I bought from you. That should have been the last thing you should have gotten from me. My money from buying this product. This, to me, on top of um, you know, sometimes GeForce experience, they'll be like, ah, oh, over manually overriding a certain user custom video game setting. This certain time will annoy certain users, resolve this, and a lot of the issue I have listed are actually what got me to not install GeForce experience. And for people that do come to me, be like, hey, we need to rebuild a computer or you know, reinstall Windows, and they have a NVIDIA GPU. I, I, I only installed a NVIDIA control panel, which is the bare minimum, and they don't care, and I haven't heard from the customers or the people. They're like, hey, why do we not have this GeForce crap experience stuff? Those normies don't realize it. They don't care. So I guess... This is one way to be like, hey, we're going to both address the enthusiasts and the normies at the same time, I guess. AMD gets a red W and NVIDIA gets the rare L with this software suite being behind. Now, on to the next topic. Intel, our like, seem to be back in the new cycle. What is it seem to be is that the original Arrow Lake we are already seeing it on laptops. So why are you wondering why we why are we talking about it again? In we are potentially on the desktop getting a refreshed version of it. It's basically hey we are now gonna get Intel Core Ultra Gen 1 CPU that right now we can see are we going to get the, well, we, probably, um, if yeah. Intel's like, hey, we have more extra silicon that can't, is not getting anywhere, going anywhere, hey, why not we send them to desktop, or two, there's like, hey, we have all the silicon, they're not good for laptops, but rather, hey, they are less efficient, let's send them to desktop, which a lot of time, the desktop CPU, the desktop platform tends to be, they just take what the laptop is and be less efficient and not as yeah, efficient, and but it still goes to spec, they just shift it to laptop, to desktop, or as why, do I think they are going to eventually launch Arrow Lake Refresh? 
there is a bunch of motherboards and BIOSes that have already been developed. And they're already sitting in a warehouse somewhere, not in a huge amount of quantity, in a good amount of launch day quantity. And I bet you all that motherboard and BIOS web pages are as soon as Intel say you are launching Intel Core Ultra onto desktop, they are just going to release, be like, thank God we can get these things out, no longer being just cold storage and into retail chain. We no longer have to deal with it. What I, what the alternative solution is, hey, yeah. Also, you have noticed that when the 14th gen came out, they only had refresh chipset and a lot of, even a lot of um, pre-built and old ODMs and OEM. They didn't even launch a refresh chipset, and all they did was, yeah, we're just going to slap an update on our, you know, our already existing motherboard and to support 14th Jam, we don't need to opt to go buy a new motherboard. This is why I believe for now, Intel and the motherboard vendors, OEM and ODM, are having these 800 chipset naming exclusively for the Intel Arrow Lake CPU line, motherboard lineup. And the last alternative that I think is could be possible is Intel plans to launch a desktop limited edition as Intel, for those that are unaware, this core ultra series is meant to have eight P core variants. I bet if Intel's like this eight core doesn't make sense on laptop or the efficiency is simply not there for the laptop, Intel might have been like, okay, we're just gonna hoard all these eight core P core variants and hey, we're gonna now launch it onto desktop. You're going to get this very, very early adopters for this 8 Intel Core Ultra 8P Core variant. And yeah, you're going to be paying a lot of money for it as probably the MPU section of the Core Ultra is really yet to be being like a thing that the outside the enthusiast market is willing to put up with like the workstation and the you know the starter center stuff they don't seem to be caring about MPUs and that this seems to be really only there for the enthusiasts and they just brute force forced it in to their you know the laptop mainstream to just because Intel is Intel and yeah I hope you like the video. If you like the video, you know, do the typical YouTube like and subscribe button. And if you want to grow this community, share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.